Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nirav, and today I will present you an overview of Product Template Studio. So, when we hear about Product Template Studio, we will thinking that what is Product Template Studio, and second thing, why we use Product Template Studio in our design. So, Product Template Studio is an add-on module for an X. It is a tool to create product template design with customized user interface. To create a customized user interface, we do not require any coding knowledge. It just requires a robust parametric modeling. It may contain part and assembly data set. It may include drawing, motion analysis and FEA data set. So why we use product template studio in our design? So PTS work as a reusable template so we can maintain our standard design process. It simplifies a complex design for end user with customized user interface. So end user has only access for driving parameter so we can eliminate a design error. With the use of PTS, we can decrease a design time and increase the productivity. For more understanding, we can go over example. I have created a template for pressure vessel design. So in this template, we will see how we can drive a geometry with different parameters and toggle a part in assembly. Also, we can analyze the weight and volume of pressure vessel. Before going to example, I will show you where we can find our product template studio module. So, in a ribbon, we can find application, hit on application, more options, and we can see here a uh, PTS author. So PTS author is a basically a module for creating product template studio. So let me show you an example. So I have plotted my folder in a reusable library so I can use that component from a reusable library. So here is the pressure vessel component. So I have to just drag and drop on screen so it will generate uh, it will generate a copy of uh, your original template and we can see here a template explorer and we also can see a template with pressure vessel so we just have to double click on the pressure vessel and we will see here a pressure vessel with a customized window so in this window we can see here there is a lots of parameter for input and some parameter for observation so based on the new parameter the observation parameter or analysis parameter will calculate it automatically so let me show you so here we have a we have a schematic for pressure vessel and it has some notation for the parameters so we first we can start from uh, diameter so we can if we increase diameter how our geometry looks like so I will put instead of 100 I will put 150 so we'll increase diameter and we also can see here volume and weight also increase with the uh, changing parameter so we can change cylinder diameter from 250 and also we can increase the uh, hand length or right hand length so this is left hand length and this is right hand length 
so we can increase from 150 to 80 and we can see here let me move on other side okay so we can see here the length is increased on left side on right side it will be Okay, increase so it will also increase on the right side so this is our vessel portion so and we also have a saddle for the supporting support for the vessel so we also can relocate based on the the length so we just have a length for all the segmented parameter and the total length will be calculated in analyze portion so we can see here we cannot edit the total length here and for the saddle so let me go to the saddle point so the saddle we can move the location of saddle so the saddle sl so we can see here sl is a distance from center of uh, vessel to the center of uh, saddle so if we increase from 60 to 100 our saddle location will be changed equally from both sides same thing so if we increase the uh, saddle width so this is our saddle width so if we increase saddle width from on, uh, 10 to 15 so it will increase the width same thing with the height so height of saddle means uh, bottom portion of the vessel and end portion of the saddle so if we increase uh, saddle height from 30 to 50 also we can decrease a saddle height from 50 to 20 so this is a portion for vessel and saddle so we have also some component on top of the vessel we can see here some nozzles on top of the vessel so we have also some parameter for the nozzle so the nozzle we can see here n1 so n1 n1 n2 n3 and n4 n1 n2 n3 and n4 so we also can maintain a uh, height of nozzle and uh, location of nozzle from right hand tangent line from this is the tangent line of uh, right side so all the dimension in a vessel if you see here for nozzle it will be vary from right hand tangent line tl so so nozzle diameter so whenever we change a diameter for nozzle the part of nozzle and the pipe size is also changed automatically so first i will show you uh, if we can change nozzle diameter end one from five to three it will reduce the it will reduce the pipe diameter as well as nozzle size and let me show you for nozzle 2 from diameter 1 to diameter 3 inches it will increase a uh, pipe size as well as uh, toggle the based on the pipe size we all we can see on nozzle 3 so for now we have a 4 inch pipe so based on 4 inch pipe we have a 4 inch uh, nozzle so if we can reduce that pipe from 4 to 2 it will change the pipe size as well as it will toggle or it will select the uh, new flange based on the new pipe size so let me show you regarding the location 
so if we can change the height of n1 nozzle for for now it was 50 so height will be from top of the vessel to the end of nozzle so right now it's a 50 so we can change from 50 to 30 so it will reduce the height if we increase or decrease the length it will move based on the value so for now it's a 180 we can move it from 180 to 200 so it will increase on the left side if you put it lower number it will move towards the right hand side and we can see here based on the new parameters the length total length and the volume and the weight will be changed constantly based on the new parameter so, so this example i have created just for the demonstration and for more video you can subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video thank you